In this video, I'm gonna share the best tips for packing and moving and the top 10 mistakes. And welcome back. You guys know I'm moving, so I'm about to start packing. But in the past, as a professional organizer, I've been hired a lot of times to help other families move. And I made a lot of mistakes and I learned a bunch of stuff. So I thought this would be a great time to make a video for you. So not only can I share like the best of the best tips, but also make sure that you're never making these giganto mistakes. Without a doubt, the biggest mistake that almost everyone makes is not decluttering as they pack. You definitely wanna have a trash bag and a donation bag right beside you as you're going through your stuff and packing because the truth is unpacking and finding homes for things at your new place is a lot harder than packing now. And if you have things that you don't actually like or you don't even want to really keep and you're moving it, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up unpacking, leaving stuff in the box, and 50 years from now, friends, you're still gonna have it in a box in your basement. You're gonna have random half-filled and quarter-filled boxes, or you're gonna put things away in your new house that's just adding to clutter. Always, always have a trash bag and donation box with you when you're packing and use it. The second biggest mistake is overcomplicating your move. Uh, as a professional organizer, when I was hired by other people for their move, I thought that the color coordinating thing was the way to go. You hear this all the time. I like, you maybe watched other videos and people are like, have a legend, give every room in your house another color. I have done this multiple times. I've had labels and like stickers or tried different colored markers. Here's what always happens. It's like Abby's room's pink and the kitchen's blue and the living room's green and maybe the office is purple and the bathroom is, I don't know, fuchsia or something. And you have a bunch of people helping you. Maybe you have movers and everyone now has to memorize the legend and no one ever knew the legend. So I'm helping people move and everyone's saying, Cass, what room is yellow again? Which room is green? And I'm looking at the legend or I'm standing at the front door directing traffic to which room it goes that a sign could have done. Such a waste of time. It overcomplicates everything. And what ended up happening was there was random stuff everywhere. What you want to do instead is on the top of every box, label the room that it's going in with a marker. Let's not overcomplicate it. What room is it going? Really big, write that on the top of the box. So as the movers are carrying it or as you're carrying it, you only have to look down to see where to put the box. On the side of the box, you wanna label what's inside. This is gonna make unpacking so much easier, but it's going to keep things organized. Everything's gonna be where it needs to go. Unpacking's going to be a breeze and you're never gonna to have to open random boxes to look for what you need. The next biggest mistake is wasting money on things like huge expensive totes or bubble wrap or other packing supplies to go inside your boxes. First of all, buying totes to move is a waste because when you get there and you unpack, now you've got these extra plastic tubs that you've spent money on that now just end up as clutter. And buying things like bubble wrap or packing peanuts it's just trash that you have to throw out when you get there. Instead, definitely go ahead and use some sturdy boxes. The cheapest place to get them is U-Haul. And when you're packing up fragile things, I have a few tips. So if you're packing up your plates and dishes, just layer paper plates in between so they don't break. And glasses, mugs, wine glasses, all of those things can be wrapped in your socks. I mean, you have to pack your socks anyways, so just leave yourself a couple of pairs that you can wear when moving, and the rest, use them for all of your breakable things or putting in between instead of bubble wrap. You can also do this with towels, blankets, sheets. Seriously, use this stuff when packing instead of buying expensive bubble wrap that's just gonna go in the trash. This next huge mistake actually happened to a family member of mine. So do not use black trash bags when moving. Like don't put anything you wanna keep in a black trash bag. 
The reason is if you have people helping you move, it's really confusing of what's going to stay and what's supposed to go. A family member of mine did this and all of the clothes and bedding ended up going to the dump. She had some trash that she wanted to go to the dump. It wasn't really obvious what was stay and what was go. And when she went to unpack, everything in a black trash bag had been thrown in the garbage by people helping. This is very common. So instead what you wanna do, especially if you're packing clothing, go with clear or blue bags. And a quick tip, especially in your closet, is just to gather all your hangers together, zip tie them, tape them together, whatever it is, and then slide the bag up over top and tie. When you're packing any clothes from your dresser, grab your vacuum and you can actually suck the air right out, especially coats, anything that's big. You don't have to buy expensive vacuum seal bags when moving. Use your vacuum to suck it out and it's going to make it smaller. But again, make sure all of this stuff, pillows, blankets, pack in clear bags so they don't accidentally get thrown out. The next biggest mistake is taking everything out of small pieces of furniture. So end tables, maybe you have like filing cabinets. I have a big mirror that's filled with my jewelry. Unpacking all of this stuff into boxes and then moving an empty small piece of furniture is kind of a waste of time and it's a waste of space. Instead, just wrap this with, you can use saran wrap. They actually have moving tape that you can use as well, secure with packing tape. And as long as it's light, like I wouldn't suggest a dresser filled with clothes, but those smaller pieces of furniture, just wrap them up and move them as is, saving you time and saving you a ton of space. This next huge mistake I feel like I've made, don't wait till the last minute. I have three weeks left. I probably should have started packing by now. It's overwhelming though. Where do you start? So here's the thing. Don't wait until the week before. Start with the stuff that you know you're not going to use. Things like off-season clothing, all of your winter coats, winter boots, extra shoes, board games, books, office supplies, holiday decor. You're not going to need that stuff. You can confidently pack it right now. This way you can do maybe a box or two a day without having to wait till the last minute, but also you're not going to like make living in your house now hard because you've packed up the stuff you actually use on a daily basis. This next one is a big one, okay? Don't forget to pack an essentials basket for all the bathrooms and definitely for the kitchen. What I mean by this is I like using a laundry hamper and packing the things that you're going to need as you're moving in. I didn't do this and I forgot to pack toilet paper and we had movers and people had to use the bathroom and I had to run out to the store and get toilet paper. So you want hand soap, trash bags, you want to have lots of toilet paper, paper towels, and for a kitchen essentials, go ahead and pack the dishwashing tablets and dishwashing soap and sponges and cloths, your favorite cleaning supplies, but also include things like paper plates and maybe some throwaway cutlery, napkins and glasses because you will be hungry. Maybe you'll have people helping who are hungry. You're definitely getting pizza and you don't want to have to open up your boxes and wash dishes and find things. Have an essentials basket that you can just put in your car for your kitchen and bathrooms. This is going to be a lifesaver. The next big mistake is packing all your clothes. Like just I'm packing up all my clothes and not giving yourself a few days worth just to be able to access. So what I love doing is having suitcases, one for each family member and packing just a few days worth of clothing, socks, underwear, clothes that you wanna wear, pajamas, having that all separate so you don't have to unpack everything to find what you need. Make sure you're including your favorite bathroom products in there too, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, the makeup you like to use every day, your nighttime lotions. Have those separately in the suitcase. It's gonna just, it's gonna make moving a lot easier. Next, don't hope you're gonna remember how to put everything back together. What I mean by this is if you're taking apart furniture or if you're taking apart the TV, your electronics, your computer, there's so many different wires, take photos. Take photos of everything before you take it apart so that it's really obvious when you go to put things back together and make sure you have like little sandwich bags so you can put in all the small cables or the screws, the pieces, and then tape that 
to whatever it is that you're moving so that nothing gets lost. Have all these supplies with you when you're packing, have them ready, and it's just gonna like save you so much peace of mind and make unpacking really fast and easy. The last big mistake is not cleaning your stuff before you pack it. Electronics get dusty, books get dusty, everything. Your furniture might be dusty. If you're just packing things that are dirty and you're telling yourself you're gonna clean it when you get to the new place, you're not going to. And you're just bringing dirt into your new home. So go ahead and make sure that you always have a spray bottle with you, some rags with you, and as you pack, give things a quick wipe. This is so worth it. It feels like work, but I promise you it's going to save you a ton. And the last thing you want to do is like track your dirty stuff, like your big pieces of furniture. Give them a really good wipe. Wipe the bottom legs of your table. Do not pack and move dirty stuff. Just trust me here. This is one of the biggest mistakes and you want to make sure you're not making that one. Now that I'm packing for myself, I have my little tidy tote packed with all my essentials. So lots of markers, I have cleaning supplies in here, I have clear, I have trash bags, I have everything I need, and I just move this around with me as I pack. So it just, it's easy. I've simplified it, and I totally recommend that you have a packing kit as well. It's gonna save you a ton of time. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I gotta be honest with you, um, I only started packing because of this video and we get the keys in two weeks and I've procrastinated every dang day because why? Because packing is stressful and it makes a big mess and I don't want boxes all over my house. So I'm stressed about the mess that packing creates and I'm stressed about the fact that I haven't started packing and so now I'm just a ball of stress that likes to hide in my bed and watch Netflix. And I also have big dreams for this move. Not only is everything gonna be packed and organized perfectly, but I wanna paint Milo's room for the new little girl that's moving in. In. and I want to make sure everything's clean for them and I want to give them gift baskets when they come in. I don't have time for any of this crap because every day I wait is one less day I have to do it and Joe he's very sweet every day is like maybe you want to pack a box today Cass as he's packing his own stuff and I'm like you can't I'm a grown-up you know that Adele song a grown woman and a do what I, you know the song but I don't know the words not the point I'm rambling, but I guess what I want to tell you is I get the overwhelm. When you feel overwhelmed and you just want to avoid at all costs, I get it. I'm doing it too. One box at a time, friends. One pile at a time. I'm going to practice what I preach and get to work. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.